I'm looking at a camera. Looking at the camera, which is there. Looking at the camera. Talking to y'all, looking at the camera. <laughs> This is my very first clothing haul. This is a Reb Dolls haul. If you read the title and the description, of course, I will put all the links down in the description um, and the prices as well. I'll try to put it somewhere on the video. Um, this is my first time. I'm new with this, so cut me some slack. I'll do a little thing where I let you guys know what I'm wearing on my face, if I have makeup on during the video, I'm not going to say I always have makeup on during the video, but, you know, this is a makeup channel, this is a clothing channel, this is a self-love and love you, you know, keeping it real kind of channel. So, to start, I am wearing the Tartiste Lip Paint, it is in the color... Two thousand years later. Go back Thursday. TBT. Go back Thursday. If you can see it. Or no camera, you're gonna, gonna be a douche. I understand camera. Okay. Well, TBT. Um I got it for my birthday from my, no Christmas, excuse me, I got it for Christmas from my lovely sister. Um I really like it. I like that it has like a cooling effect on your lips. I don't know if all lip paint or Tartiste um, or Tarte products do that. I don't have very many Tarte lip products. So I'm willing to give it a try. But I do like that cooling effect. I do like that it's matte, but it's very soft. Like you know how some mattes are like are dry, makes your lips feel dry. It really doesn't. It's kind of nice. And of course, I uh, did my eyebrows. I have very thick eyebrows, so don't judge me. I don't, I don't usually do my eyebrows when I do do them. This is how they look. So they're supposed to be thinner or however they're supposed to look. Yeah, my eyebrows are sisters, not twins. <laughs> and they're very thick. They're caterpillars. So these are the caterpillars. Say nice to meet you. Um, I'm wearing the Anastasia Dip Brow. Um, this is a NYX liquid matte liquid eyeliner um, and just some bronzer on my eyes for eyeshadow. I try to keep it as natural as possible. It actually just came from my first dress fitting. Um, I am getting married in July uh, to my fiance Aaron. Eventually you'll see him laying down the line. Um, if he lasts that long, I might kill him. No. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much what it is. My foundation is the Matte Poreless um, by Maybelline Blush Elf Bronzer Morphe. It's a sample from Ipsy. So nothing special. Try to keep it, like I said, as natural as possible. Do um, I don't think I think I lose like a little bit of concealer and the Milani um, translucent powder. So there you go. This is the look. Things I use to achieve this look. Um, the highlight I have on is a very subtle highlight. I don't remember who it's by, but I will look it up. It's a really old highlighter that I've had like, forever. I don't really use it that often, um, but it's cute and I like it. It gives like a nice subtle um, shimmer pink highlight. So, and again, I will link these products in this description as well as the products of course for the clothing but that's what we're here for so let's get into the video so this first piece which i said like i, I am wearing it right now um it is a dress um, as you can see, I'm kind of like walking back and forth, you know, turning around, showing you the back. It's kind of long. It is slightly above the knee, but not too far um, above the knee. Um, for those of you who don't like 
you know, super short dresses or if you're worried about like kind of bending over. I mean, I have a big stomach, so it kind of flares on me, like I said, as you can see there. But it's nice. It really fits really nice. I am very comfortable um, in this dress. I'm not a big dress person. I'm really not. I don't like them. Mm. But I'm working on it. I'm working on myself. I'm working on getting there. I like that when I, you know, when I wash it, it won't shrink on me. So I love that. And I, and my, my mom actually kept calling this an old lady dress because of the pattern on the dress. I thought the same thing. I'm like, that is such a cuggly dress. Like it's very cuggly, you know, cuggly, cute, ugly. Coin the phrase. Don't, 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 don't steal. Uh, <laughs> but no, now that I see it on me, I like it on me. I like the way it looks on me. I like the style. Uh, it's very different from what I would usually wear. Um, I'm more of a solid color kind of person. Again, working on my wardrobe, working on myself, you know, trying to get it together. Here and there, like I, I, I've noticed over the years, um, as I've come more into myself, I'm 29 years old, not afraid to say it, I will be 30 this year. <laughs> turn up turn up that i'm becoming more colorful i i will say it started um, after high school so about 18 19 years old i was like you know what let's get it together big girl is the thing i'm the thing i'm the shit i'm the hazy baby i'm the fluffy bombshell let's do it <laughs> you know what i mean and get it done so I did notice that my, my wardrobe I said is becoming more colorful. I did kind of stick to, I had like this like dark purple phase where I was like, that was like the color. Like I, my sister was like, you need to wear colors. You can't keep wearing black. You can't keep wearing dark blue, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, okay, I got a color for your ass. Boom, purple. And then she like kind of caught what I was doing and she was like, I'll beat your ass. You put on some more purple. Like when we go shopping, she's like, if you pick up any purple, I'm going to pop you. And I'm like, that's rude. <laughs> anyway, so that's this 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 dress. Again, very cute, flowy um dress. Um it is cold outside now, but I wore it outside. You can wear it with some boots, you can wear it with some little booties. Um me personally, I would wear it in the summertime. I mean, I don't see why not, because like I said, it's not it's not a heavy fabric. It does look pretty thick, but it's not a thick fabric. Um it, it's like that like tight material. I would say like we got some like a good pair of tights like it's like that um and yeah I think it's cute I hope you like it it's <laughs>
mixed fabric. And I love it. I love every bit of it. Again, be able to subscribe with the, with the link, size, all that kind of stuff. Um, it does come with a belt. And it does have belt hoops on it. I don't, know, I don't know why I didn't put the belt, put it through the belt hoops. I don't know what happened. I think I just took it off the hand and kind of just put it on. And it was like, for a second video, for a second like time. Because it is like late here. I decided to do this like late because... I have two nephews in my house, okay? They are one and two, and they turn up all day. And I mean all day, okay? So, I got to catch it when they, everybody's down, and it's quiet in this mug, so y'all don't be hearing them running around crazy in the background. But anyway, uh, I like it. Um, it's a heavy fabric, um, so I wouldn't recommend like trying to wear it like, in the summertime, maybe like early spring when it's still cool outside. It's definitely a fall type of outfit as you can see that everything i bought is in those fall colors um so it's taking me a little bit of while to really sit down and do this don't judge me what the hell is that in my hair took me a while to sit down and do it I, I am a procrastinator don't get me wrong um i am probably like the queen of procrastination and i need to stop I, it's an addiction ladies it's a disease i don't know i don't know i wasn't confident and then i was like going through some stuff it was a lot but i'm i'm here now we're here now and we're gonna keep this joint rolling into the next outfit not yet hope i like it i, I like it i like it a lot yeah that's that dress it is a dress i will probably wear it as a jacket or as a dress i don't know Ugh. depends on my shapewear i am wearing shapewear um if you um wanted to know i am wearing shapewear um throughout the entire video even now i'm sitting here with shapewear it was actually just a girdle um nothing special something i've had for a while i will do like a shapewear haul um eventually um and just to tell you like you guys my size if you can't already tell how much of a plus size fluffy girl i am um I wear a 26 or a 28 in jeans from like Ashley Stewart and you know they kind of stretch. Um, so probably really more like a 28 but there's that and I wear like a 3X or 4X in shirts. Um, my bras are I think I'm like a 52 triple D something like that. I just got measured today and it's my, all the way around it's like 72. So even that might be not the thing because it's bride having right now. Like it's from Ashley Stewart and I think it's a 48 or like a 46. Or whatever the biggest size is, like double or triple D. And it's tight and it's bothering me. But it look good. It make my boobs sit up. So get mad at that. Um, so yeah, that's just like y'all know. Like it is what it's gonna be. And I do I will be doing like, you know, my hair care routine, all that kind of stuff. Again, we'll get into that later. Let's get to the next outfit. Hey, Bombshells, voiceover Hazy Baby here. I am only voiceover in this part because I messed up the video the first time around when I was trying to save it. So that's why the video is a bit delayed. That's why it's coming Saturday instead of Friday, like I said, on my post on Instagram. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Um, so this dress is a cotton like t-shirt material. It's kind of thin, um, but it's not thin to the point where you, you may see your underwear. I'm not sure. I, not from what I can see in the clip, I don't see my underwear. Um, I haven't done like a bend over test or the fiance test <laughs> um, to see like you know if they might see my, my what's underneath. But I like it. It's very comfortable. Um, you know, I can sit in it just fine. It may look a little tight, but believe me, it's it's definitely loose. As um, the sleeves are a little baggy, baggier than I thought it would, but it pretty much fits me the same way it fit the model, minus her, you know, flat stomach. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it was a different kind of dress for me, you know, it's like right in my ballpark with the solid color. Um, the sleeve was something that I thought would look a little different because my arms are big, so I thought maybe it would flare or something, you know, be something different. But it's actually not tapered there where the sleeve is. It's kind of just that ruffle is just there. So that kind of like was like, eh, okay. Like, you know, kind of defeated my expectation. But I, overall, I like the dress. I think it's very comfortable. Um, like I said, you know, you can wear it with some hot thigh high boots or some knee high boots um you can even just wear it with some uggs it's tight underneath um the skirt is longer on me again like i said in there, i put in a note that the skirt that i am 5'5 five five, excuse me i'm 5'5 five five, so the skirt's a little long on me but 
I like it. I, and I hope you like it. And I will let you guys get on with the rest of the video. All right, and this piece, the last and final piece, there was another dress. I actually wore it. Don't judge me that I said to be one of the other's video. I actually wore it for Halloween. I was a witch for Halloween. I have pictures of me, of my makeup, of me wearing a dress. It's like this turtleneck dress. I will put a picture up over here somewhere. Somewhere y'all can see it. I'll link that as well. I ordered that also in a 4X. It was like a, like a long turtleneck sweater dress. It was actually thicker than I was expecting it to be. It looked a little different. Like I said, I wear glasses, so maybe I could be wrong. But it looked a little different on the model. Didn't look as thick on the model. Um, and I got it. It was like that very, very sweater material. Like that sweater material. Like Kind of everything just kind of sticks to it, and it was like, <laughs> let me do that. But nonetheless, it was a cute dress. It was actually long. It was really long. Um, it was like a, like a couple of inches below my knee, but I liked it a lot. It was cute. It was like you know, kind of like short sleeved turtleneck. It was all black. So of course, I was a witch for Halloween. I'm somehow always a witch for Halloween. I feel like that's like the easiest, cheapest thing to do, because really all you gotta just wear black and like put a hat on. Anyway, as you can see, it is a cardigan. It's that um, burnt orange, which is another color I'm actually really kind of getting addicted to. I love it. I love the color. I love the fit. I love that it's a thicker material. So again, I wouldn't recommend wearing it in the summertime. Maybe early spring will really still cool. Even now, I wear fall. I wear all colors all year round. I noticed like... Oh, you know, people do fall hauls, people do, you know, fall colors and fall fashion, all that kind of stuff. I wear all this stuff all year round. I wear jeans all year round. I wear sneakers all year round. I wear boots all year round. I'm crazy like that. It's just me. That's just kind of what I do. I mean, you know, I mean, not like no heavy, like galoshes or whatever, you know, Timberland boots, no craziness like that. But I will wear a pair of booties in the summertime. I just, I just will. Like if the outfit calls for it. I will do it. It's that's just me. You'll learn that. <laughs> um, I will wear a cardigan. I will wear a long t shirt in the summertime. I wear my clothes all year round, so nothing really gets put away. Um, I mean, I don't wear any heavy, crazy sweaters, nothing like that. You know, what I mean, I'm not, I'm not psycho. Crazy. My fiance will say this up for the debate, but we ain't cool there. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying. Um, it's thick. It's thick as hell. Even putting it on top of this, I was like, "Oh, a fat bitch is hot." <laughs> but um, no, it's it's nice. It's a nice fit. I really liked it. Um, I think it was like super cute. Um, I, um, I would probably wear it with like some jeans again, some booties, cute little cardigan. I'm not cardigan. What's it called? Camisole, something like that. Something to keep your arms free. I don't recommend wearing a long sleeve shirt with it because you're gonna be mad. Cause no matter where you go, it's gonna be hot unless you're outside or unless you got like an air conditioner on something. But right now it's winter time. Niggas wearing heat, you need heat. We mad, especially if you're a big joint. You a big joint? You yeah. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> um, just don't. Um, like I said, nice, nice card again. I recommend rep dolls to the fullest. I really do. I recommend rep dolls. Um, I do recommend it. Maybe sizing, sizing up is always great. Definitely size up if you are a plus size girl and you're worried. But I think rep dolls is mostly plus size clothing anyway. So some of the stuff, it fit me great. But if you're a 3x i would say is 3x true to size like it's definitely true to size like i am gonna do a haul later on in the week i will do another haul i have some uh rom we or rom we i don't know how you would say it um but she and rom we you know they're kind of like the same people um sweaters and a lot of them aren't 3x true size um so they, they fit nice. I like them 
on me. But Rep Dolls is definitely a place that's definitely true to size, I would say. Um, and they looking out, man. They they clothes are nice. The clothes are nice. I love the way they came packaged. It's got this it came in this big next my next haul, I'm gonna show y'all. It came in this big, like plastic bag, right? And it had Rep Dolls big as hell on it. And it was all black with the white lettering like 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 they do. And I thought it was cute. You know how you order some stuff and it comes in, like that gray, like post office packaging you know, that kind of thing which is not a problem i mean you know what's special is what's inside but i did like the fact that that they were like bitch you got it from rep dolls let it be known it's from rep dolls rep dolls all over it we own our packaging bam so i could appreciate that and a lot of the pieces actually came in he's like he's like which even the Shein rom we rome i'm gonna call it rome rome i don't care um packaging came in like these like ziploc bags some of them you could tell they're still trying to get their shipping together like maybe some of their newer stuff is in a ziploc bag and some of their older stuff is in that like that plastic film bag with the little sticky part you just kind of flip it open okay anyway love the way it came packaged um nothing was damaged everything was good and everything fits that's one thing I gotta appreciate. I usually don't do online clothing shopping, but we're in an online kind of world. You know what I mean? It's the thing, especially if you're busy, you know, all that kind of stuff. You know, it's time to go to the store. Me personally, I hate trying to go to the store. I really do. So, having recently become an online clothing shopper, I think it's a great thing that they're, that they, you know, that they, stuff is true to size. Their stuff is true to size. And it's, good quality clothes it really it is like i have no complaints as you can see i'm still wearing this dress i still like it i might even sleep in it okay i'm, I'm not gonna i'm not gonna sleep in it but because I, I got I did. don't judge me okay i was being a little extra it's okay it's okay though a little extra this is so it's good sometimes but now i hope you like the video Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, hit that notification bar bell so that you can always see my wonderful face. <laughs> and this is your girl, Big Hazy Baby, signing out. And I'll see you on the next one. Okay, so I don't know what the hell that was. That Yeah. We'll, we'll work on it. <laughs>